Hello. This is uh, part two of the counterchange project. To remind you, you have three letters with three different thumbnail sketches. The thumbnail sketch is a smaller version of what your finished product might be. It's to get your ideas down on paper to see what you're going to like to do. So if you can look at this, there's the heart, a surfboard, and a pine tree. This is horizontal. These two designs are vertical. So you pick your idea of what you're going to do. You like, maybe you like this one better than this one. You choose to do this one. The letters need to be bigger and thicker. You can see where I've started to go in and make these letters thicker is the new line for the R. That's all the stuff you work out when you get to the rough draft. This is a rough draft. I'm, I'm decided to use these letters and stick with three letters, four tops. Don't put out five and six. Um, different uh, letters or designs and one symbol. There's the heart symbol again. Real simple and easy. And what we're going to do here is now after you have your rough draft, you're going to turn it into a final copy. You're going to show me your rough draft paper and I'm going to give you this 9 by 12 thick heavy duty painting paper. It's not the same paper as our sketch paper which is thinner and if you go and paint on this paper because you're going to skip a step and you turn in your project and it's on this paper, you're going to instantly get 70 points because you're not following the directions. This paper won't hold up to the moisture that's in the black paint and it'll wrinkle and you won't have the best result that you have with a thicker, heavier paper. All right, so I started to paint a little bit on this before and what I want to show you is when you're ready to paint, you get our palette. You fill one hole of the palette hole up with black paint. You have your paintbrush, and you're ready to paint. Now, how? Just to save you some effort, you can take your one of your sketch papers and stick it underneath, so that when you're painting up to the edge of the paper, you're not painting onto the desk. All your paint's going on your on your practice sheet. All right. So whenever you're painting, you want to keep painting with a bristles until the paint is a thin even coat of paint. Otherwise you've got thick areas and thin areas. We want to cover this paint or this surface area with a thin layer of paint so that we don't get a lot of wrinkles. You can see this is already starting to wrinkle up from where I painted earlier. Alright, so now I'm going to work in this area around this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my paintbrush in here and I'm going to start out the side here. And I'm going to get this area uh, covered with wet paint because my paintbrush is going to slide better on top of this. And the reason that we're using the Sharpie to outline is that I can bring, because the Sharpie is black and the paint is black, and I've got this area lubricated and I can, when I put the paintbrush down, I'm not trying to put it on the line. I'm putting it down next to the line and as I press down with the bristles, the bristles expand and go to that black line. And there I just, you know, I sneezed and I got out of, out of line. So I don't like to do that. And my, my brush, I'm starting off too, too close to the line. All right, so I dipped in, got a little bit more paint. And here's another method. You start down here, going back and forth, and just push your brush up a little bit until you come in contact with the actual paint. When you see I have a wet surface area that I can slide my paintbrush on, it, uh, it goes a little quicker, okay? So don't try to start with your paintbrush on the line. So this is your, your best technique is to start out here, get the paper lubricated with wet paint, then place the brush down next to the line and as you push down on the bristles, the bristles will expand and you're sliding the brush on wet paint already and you'll get a nicer result and your paint will be closer to that line. Now, you know, this is kind of cheating because we're, you know, painting next to that black line. And you can see that I'm getting off of the, the paper onto my, my background paper. All right. So except for these two little areas here where I messed up, I think that's a pretty sharp, a pretty sharp line. And you could, you know, come, come in and try to bring that uh, paint out a little bit so it kind of uh, covers up that mess up a little bit and kind of smooths that out so it doesn't stand out as bad. All right, so as you're painting, then when it's cleanup time, you're going to follow the cleanup directions from the uh, cleanup video.